Hello, it's Laura Firth and welcome to the Pilates class today, our standing workout which can also be used as a warm-up for any type of exercise that you may be doing. We will begin standing today and begin our neutral standing alignment. So we start with our feet hip width apart and parallel, soften the knees slightly and then lift up all of your toes, spread them out wide and then place them back down on the floor to help you feel a bit more grounded. From there just lightly draw the belly button to the spine, lengthen the tailbone down, lift your spine, draw the front ribs in, roll your shoulders back, lifting your chest and the back of your neck is long, bringing the chin parallel to the floor. So we will take our hands to the lower ribs, start with the breath. So we breathe in through the nose and breathe out through our mouth. Relax the lips. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. So breathing in, pressing the hands away. Breathe out, just letting the ribs relax down. As you breathe, imagine you have gills like a fish. Release, breathe in, lift the arms up. Breathe out and lower. And again, breathe in to lift, breathe out and release. Breathe in and out and float the arms up and release them down. Float the right arm up and then C-shape the spine to the left and release. Breathe in to lift again, other side and breathe out to C-shape. Breathe in back to centre, lift the other arm Take the tip of your head with you, keeping the abdominals engaged and the tailbone long. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, so you shape to the right. Breathe in, lift and release. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep length through the spine, relaxing the shoulders down. Breathe in, lift. Keep widening the chest and release down. Both arms, hands come onto the shoulders and begin to circle the elbows backwards. Make the circles as small or as big as you like and just one breath for each circle. So just keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Keep controlling the torso with the abdominals and reverse. Take the circles the other way. So again, as big or as small as you feel comfortable today. Keep length through the spine and grounded through the feet. Breathe in and then as you breathe out, turn the spine to the left. Breathe in back to centre and breathe out to the right. Centre and left. So engaging with our spine twist, starting to mobilise the spine, increase its flexibility. Excuse me. Breathe in, lift and breathe out. See if you can take your eyes back as well with you. See if that helps you to twist even further. Release the arms down. Bring the arms in line with the shoulders. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms forwards and inhale, lift the arms up at the head. Keep the shoulders sliding down. The front ribs drawing in and just take two more breaths here. Stretching through the shoulder joint. Last breath and slowly release all the way down. Release the clasp of the hands. Put the arms back up in front of the shoulders. Clasp the hands again but the other finger on top. Reverse the hands and then above the head once again. Breathe long through the spine and release through the shoulders. Last breath. And release the arms all the way down. Next we're going to do the roll down. So take a big breath in and then as you breathe out bring your chin to your chest and curl the spine one vertebrae at a time all the way down. So the arms are released, the shoulders are down. Take a breath in when you've got to where you can and then as you breathe out draw the belly in. Bring the chin to the chest and roll all the way up, vertebrae by vertebrae. And again, breathing out as you roll down, 
Really be precise on the articulation of the spine. All the way forwards, take a breath in through the nose and then breathe out as you roll all the way up. As you come to the top, breathe in. Wide into the ribs, breathe out, chin to your chest. Follow the journey of the roll down the spine. And once again, breathe in, fill the spine with breath, let it flow all the way to the crown of the head. And breathing out, on the way down. Try not to let the shoulders ride up by the ears, let them release down away from the ears. And it never matters whether your hands touch the floor or not all the way back up to standing. Release, bring the arms up above the head and breathe out, press the palms back, look over your left shoulder. Breathe in to lift both arms, breathe out to look over the other shoulder. Breathe in to lift, front ribs draw in, lightly breathe out, look to the left. So opening the chest, stretching through the neck and look to the other side, breathe in to lift again and breathe out, big breath. Breathe in as you go back, try not to sit the arms too wide. Mine could be a little bit closer here. And breathe out, press the palms back. Now pulse the arms back to get them warm. Breathe in, in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. Strong core here to stop any circling with the hips or pulsing backwards and forwards to so minimize any movement in the body. And last breath, keep length through the crown of the head and then one breath and slowly release them down. Hands to hips, bend the knees, knees track in second and third toe, lift your left heel and then right, left and right. Now breathe in, breathe out. Now keep going with these pedals and imagine you've kind of got a book balancing on your head. So we don't want to go up and down. Now quicken the pedals up, breathe in, 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 out, out. Keeping everything as still as you can as you move. So strong through the core. And really work the feet. Press the knees over the toes as much as you can. Lower both heels down, stretch the legs. Hands come back to the shoulders. Soften the knees once again. And then we're going to come into a spine twist, but a little bit quicker this time. So we're going to breathe in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. Keep tucking the tailbone, draw the front ribs in, belly button pulls into the spine. And just focus the eye gaze. Excellent, keep the crown of the head reach and slowly lower it down. Hands come to the hips again. Shift the weight over to the left leg and place the right toes on top of your foot. From here, we're going to breathe in to lift the right leg and then breathe out just to tap the toe lightly onto the floor. Breathe in to lift, breathe out and lower. Breathe in to lift and breathe out lower. Now here, think about everything happening from the abdominals. So the thigh muscles want to feel nice and soft, never strained. Breathe in, lift and then place the toes back on your foot and then reset the right foot down. Check they're still in parallel and then change the weight to the right, placing the left foot on the right. Breathe in to lift the, lift the left leg and tap the toe. So we're breathing in to lift, out to lower and lift and lower. Draw the belly button to spine, front ribs in, so bracing the abdominals and long spine. Toes to feet and then slowly reset parallel and then straighten the knees. Readjust if you need to. Hands are going to come to the lower back. This is our last stretch so we're just going to draw the elbows in to open the chest. Keep the back of the head lightly pressing back, chin parallel to the floor and slowly release the arms. And that is our standing Pilates workout or warm-up however you choose to use this and thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like our video and share it with your friends. Thank you and see you next week. Bye.